Good day, everyone. Um, today, I am um, going to discuss another um, statement in C programming language, and uh, I hope um, I can share with you guys uh, another important uh, video for your uh, programming um, journey. Okay, what I'm going to discuss today is actually similar to the previous video, the ladderize if statement. It is still a conditional statement, but then. Um, as to the behavior, the character of such a statement, they're actually the same. Uh, but um, technically, they are, they are, they are different. Right? There, there is a slight variation, okay? And uh, as much as I want you to, to have the skills, um, uh, you know, in programming, uh, number one consideration is uh, the more flexible you are, the better, okay? The more statements available in your packet, then that's that's the, the better uh, position. Okay, so we have this ladderize if statement. We can use that technique in programming, and uh, here I am again. I I, I I am sharing to you another another um, conditional statement that will eventually uh, uh, gives you enough room for some uh, uh, decisions to to, to make. As to what particular uh, statement you're going to, to, to use okay so um, I would like to share my uh, I would like to share my screen actually I have here a notes I will be discussing to you the switch statement in C okay the switch statement in C. it is still uh, a conditional statement it will check a certain expression and, and if this expression is true, perform this particular line subtraction. If false, uh, bypass, jump, and look for another conditions. If true, perform. If not, bypass and jump. Okay. So uh, um, here, uh, I, I I would like to to discuss uh, the functionality of this statement by way of giving you an example. Okay. Now, if you can remember uh, my previous video, I give you an example of a program using ladderize if statement, wherein our program tend to ask for a value of month, and then eventually the program will evaluate and then display its corresponding month in words. Okay, so um, what I'm going to give you a sample is actually similar to to the one that I, I give you on the previous video but then this time instead of using ladder as if we'll be using what switch statement okay so here um, we'll try to encode and I would like to challenge you guys while while watching this video um, do the same okay uh, if you have an online compiler then you can do it let's let's do programming together okay so i am using value as my variable and declared it's an integer right then i would like to inform the user that i need a certain value okay and uh, um as programmer um our program must be what users friendly no so we'll give enough uh, messages as to inform the user that we are in need of that particular value okay so that's why i i, I have here enter a month value then i even i even give a rinse uh, this time i'll be using switch okay and i'll be checking what is the content of this value case the value is one Colon. This is part of the syntax, by the way. Print if um, month is January. Okay, it's very simple. Then break. Break uh, will instruct your program to to exit from this block of switch statement. Okay, so that's the function of, of, of break. Now, by the way. We can we can we can move it down, okay, and here, and then followed by another case two, okay. 
but then uh, I'd love to have a single line same same actually same same screen output but uh, different what presentation okay anyway we we all know that uh, semicolon is what it's the demarcation line between statements so once uh, <clears throat> your compiler uh, encounter semicolon uh, the next line or command is another statement right that's that's actually the interpretation of your compiler now I'm just trying to, to copy the the line here and uh, do some some editing right uh, just to you know to make this uh, video shorter okay so here control, control v march april right and here as before are you following so please do the same huh? because programming is what it's a skill you no know? so the more you're exposed to programming then the better in here I'll, I just you know copy and paste the line and change the the name of the month and the number of the condition June okay here paste and then seven right and here instead of February it must be July break right? here okay it must be 8 and here it must be what? August oh yeah August right here um 9 right and September <laughs> okay and here are you following huh <laughs> please follow right uh, this is programming by the way right October okay we're almost done in here how much 11 and it should be what November right <laughs> okay two more lines here it should be how much 12 right 12 and December now if the value is beyond 1 to 12 we have this default command or statement printf if the statement is beyond the 1 to 12 display invalid entry in in ladderized if statement default is actually equivalent to else portion right if month is equal to 1 january if else if month is 2 february else if month is 3 march else if month is 4 april and the last part else print invalid entry same with this one default okay so if all the conditions from 1 to 12 are all false pack display invalid entry okay and then uh we'll try to return value because we are using what an integer main function okay so here um uh, you have here actually this one we can we can we can do the same as to the the number two up to number 12 uh, you can have this a single line they're actually the same technically okay so um value here has a content because of this scanning right so value is what it's an integer value variable so our value will store values which are integral okay so we'll try running this program click run let's see if it will run i hope <laughs> um uh, there is, is there a problem i don't think so ah see it runs right so enter a month value 1 to 12 for example i will input 3 when i press enter k that 3 will be stored to value okay are you following the mouse pointer value and then this value will be checked if it is 1 print january if it is 2 print february and so on and so forth so well i'll try pressing enter k see month is march 
So meaning the program is correct, right? Now we'll try clicking run again. Let's see. But if I will input 11, when I press enter K, month is November. So we'll try running again. But if the value is beyond 1 to 12, let's say 56, when we press enter K, the result is what? The result is invalid. So that is how we use switch statement. A very simple statement and a very nice technique in programming. I, I hope today I, I shared something something useful in your programming journey. My dream is for you to enjoy programming someday. You'll be doing good in life because you are a programmer. Thank you so much for now. Um, God bless you. God bless your programming journey. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you will still watch the next videos of mine. I'll be discussing another statement in C programming language. God bless us.